Alrighty guys, in today's video, we're going to be looking at how to scale your text within TrueCut RD Works. But before that, let's have a quick intro first. So today's video can be found on softwaretraining.co.za. We have short and easy to watch problem solving videos and we also have daily updates. But otherwise, back in the program here. Now, just a quick reminder, this is a mini series on the text tool and I'll also be leaving uh, relevant links in the description so you guys can actually follow along. Now, when it comes to scaling text, there's a few ways we can go about it. We'll first be looking at using the actual text tool, seeing that that's what we were covering. And then just as a bonus, we're going to be looking at uh, one or two other ways to scale the text as well. So let me just remove this. Now, obviously, first of all, we add some text with the text tool. I'm going to just call this uh, test. Uh, we'll make a test uh, scale just so we have something. And then um, you will notice here at the bottom, we've got the text size. Now, as you can see, it says height. It doesn't mean it only sets the height, but this will be the height measurement. So in millimeters. So we can see on the measurement here, I've got about, a, it's about a hundred mil there. So you can adjust it accordingly. So if I had to make it, maybe let's try 200 mil. And then we say, okay, added there, test scale. Here we go. We've got our um, text and then, um, yeah, it's pretty easy. So if you have design requirements where they tell you, okay, the text wants to be X, Y, and Z, then you just follow it according to the height of the measurements. And then you can add it. Another way we can do this, so if I had to make a duplicate of this, just simply select it, hold control and left click and drag, then we can use these control points on the corners. You can obviously do the horizontal and vertical scale individually, but if you use this together, it will scale the entire thing. And now you can kind of scale this according to the size you are looking for. Um, so that is another way we can scale it. And then a uh, third way is we can actually just go to our transform tab under our control panel, click that. And then um, from here, we can either do it, um, or should I say, we can do it by going to the um, size. Let me zoom in here so you guys can see the little cube showing arrows towards a bigger cube. We've got scale, you can set the scale here. Or what you can also do is you can go to, um, I think this is skewing one or mirroring on that. And then we've got a ratio here. So you can increase and decrease this ratio to um, scale the text. So let's just make this 50 and uh, click apply. And then you can see it just made it twice as small or half as small. In any case. <laughs> Yeah, so, but uh, the main focus on this is obviously if I go to an edit, you set the scale here on the bottom of the text edit panel. And like I mentioned, it works to the height of the text and it's in millimeters, obviously depending on what you've set your program to, but in my case, it will be millimeters. Well, that covers the um, scale option. So if uh, we had to head to the website, TrueCut or, ah, uh, sorry, <laughs> my apologies, uh, softwaretraining.co.za, you will notice we've got a variety of different softwares to recover and you can isolate your search on the top right. We also um, have this option here for request a training video in case um, you cannot find the videos you're looking for. You can always go here request requested and then we'll do our best to try and make that for you. But otherwise, thanks guys for watching and cheers.